I feel like I look like an alien without anything else on my face. Like my face is so Hey guys, it's me, Ashley, and in today's video, I think I'm going to... Okay, wait. First of all, I went to TJ Maxx yesterday, and they have really great finds sometimes, okay? I found this thing, this Volcanic Ash Makeup Blending Sponge for $3.99. It claims that it is naturally infused with anti-aging volcanic ash powder. This sponge applies and blends your makeup to perfection while helping to purify your skin. So I'm excited to try it. Guys, we are sleeping on TJ Maxx, unless you're not. And if you're not, good for you, because they have a lot of cool stuff there. If I didn't have responsibilities, I would have bought the entire beauty section, because they have so much cool stuff. Did you know Paris Hilton has beauty sponges too? Me either. But she does, at TJ Maxx. Okay, so it's by True Beauty. It's called the Volcanic Ash Makeup Blending Sponge. It purifies the skin, natural, natural exfoliator, anti-aging, and detoxifies. To use, use dry or damp to apply any type of makeup. If used daily, your sponge should be washed once a week with mouth cleanser, baby shampoo, or any low sudsing soap. Rinse well, air dry, your sponge will enlarge after wetting. Okay. So, let's open this. Ooh, it's not as bouncy as I'm used to. It's definitely uh, firm, very firm. Let's see, I have a dirty beauty blender who bounces like same pressure. Let's do it the other way. Same pressure, okay? So it's definitely firmer. Um, let me see. I have a new beauty blender that I haven't used yet, I think. Oh, yeah. Brand new, never been used beauty blender. This is the size comparison. So, the volcanic one is definitely a little fatter. And the point on it is definitely a little bit pointier. <laughs> it's a little bit pointier. So, yeah. And it's definitely fatter, as you can tell. Okay, I'm gonna go get this wet and then we will cat hair. Ew. I won't get to using it. Okay, so I have it wet. It is significantly larger. I also got the beauty blender wet just so that we could compare. It's still a lot firmer than the beauty blender, obviously. It's not gonna lose density just because it's wet. But there are pretty close to the same size. It's still a little larger, obviously. It's definitely a little bigger around. I'm gonna use a tried and true NARS foundation. All day luminous weightless foundation. My color is medium two Santa Fe. Just gonna put some on my hand. Again, it's very watery. I feel like it's drinking a lot of the product, like a lot of the product. Usually the amount that I put on my hand is enough to put one full coat and then part of another. It even feels like it's picking it back up off of my face. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more. I feel like I'm wasting, but for you guys. Because it's so dense and it's so big, it's making it hard to get in the crevices of my nose. Whereas my beauty blender or any other sponge that I've tried so far other than the Real Techniques Diamond one, um, kind of forms to your face, you know, and it kind of, when you press it to your nose, it kind of just forms around the crevices. So 
It gets in there. This one is not doing that very well. Yeah. Can you see? Okay, so I'm not sure if what's going on is from what this sponge is supposedly infused with. The anti-aging volcanic ash powder. But my foundation is getting really, really dry around the tops of my cheekbones, which is not something that I normally have an issue with. This foundation is very watery. It's very, it, it doesn't dry my face out. It's usually pretty hydrating on my face and maybe not necessarily hydrating, but it's never dry on my face. And right now it's definitely getting dry. Let me see. So that makes me a little nervous about doing my concealer so what I'm gonna do to hopefully combat that under my eye dryness because I already have some pretty rough under eye dryness is I'm gonna use the Smashbox photo finishing Smashbox photo finishing hydrating under eye primer it looks like this and I don't use this a lot but on days that I feel like I don't get enough sleep or I'm not drinking enough water, which is not healthy, don't ever do that. Then I try to use this because anything to keep or to help with under eye dryness. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let that set and then I'll go in with some concealer and we'll see how it works with that. Okay, so um, my under eyes are set and if I look different it is because I now have eyebrows on. And I'm going to wear this that I also got from TJ Maxx for $1.99 because now I'm officially a beauty YouTuber. Because you can't be a beauty YouTuber without cat ears. Concealer, woo! I'm kind of nervous. I was thinking about it while I was doing my eyebrows and I'm wondering if maybe whatever it's infused with is not making it drier necessarily but actually picking the product back up which I was noticing that it was doing that I've never had a problem with this foundation before and I've used it with the primer that I used today so and I also used a lot of moisturizer today I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and the color is light neutral And then under my eyes, I'm gonna put a little bit of fair neutral, like so. And now we're gonna attempt to blend it out with the charcoal sponge. So I know charcoal is like all the rage right now, or it has been recently, but every dermatologist or person that works in that field that I've ever talked to, and I've read a lot of articles on it, say that charcoal is terrible for your face but it's in everything. So I'm not gonna lie, this actually blended out my concealer really nicely. The only problem I'm having is where the foundation started picking up right along the edges and the tops of my cheekbones, but where that started coming up and where the concealer meets it, it there's an obvious line so that's a little frustrating but other than that the concealer actually blended out really great with the sponge so i'm going to go ahead and set that with some laura mercier translucent powder that's what it looks like it's not picking it up evenly the powder it's gonna in chunks all over it you can kind of see the chunks as I lay, I hate that word, but you can see what I'm talking about when I touch it to my face because it shows up where most of the powder was picked up. So I'm going to use the bottom and set the rest of the concealer. You see, it's not picking it up smoothly at all. You can see it really good right here. I know I look super powdery right now, but we're not going to worry about that because this review was about this and not what I look like. Although, it kind of was about what I look like, so. So, I'm pretty sure I'm finished with this. Final thoughts are, it's actually really smooth. 
I mean, of course it's a sponge, so it is porous, but it's not near as porous as the Beauty, Bin Beauty Blender. So you can tell by looking at it that the Beauty Blender here is a lot more porous. <laughs> I've said that word like 17 times. It, um, when you're blending it out, it's not quite as smooth. The charcoal blender is very smooth to the, the surface of it is. The pores are very tiny, and I don't know if that's because the Beauty Blender is more used. I don't. Maybe it'll become that way over time, but for blending out, probably contour, but definitely concealer. It definitely gives a smooth flawless looking finish and I definitely love it for that. As far as something on a larger scale like foundation, I definitely wouldn't recommend it and I don't think I'll use it again for foundation. I mean sometimes I use a brush for a foundation and then I'll use my beauty blender for concealer so on those days I'll definitely probably use this one for concealer because I really love the way it made my concealer look. For $3.99 too, like who would have thought, especially if you use brushes a lot, like 99% of the time for your foundation anyway. This one's definitely better for foundation because although they both pick up product, the charcoal one drinks it. Like it used so much of my product and you can't even really tell. I mean I know you can see the discoloration, but for the most part, like with this one, you can tell how dingy dirty it is. And this one, it's barely, because all my foundation is in there. Like I can't even imagine what it's gonna look like when I clean it out. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. If you like this review, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you have a charcoal sponge? Have you tried one? Have you seen this one? Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. They will all be linked down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and I will see you guys in my next video.